This will be for the con exercise, parallel and perpendicular lines from equation. So I believe the multiple choices on these in this exercise are all the same for each problem. So I'm gonna give you some notes for each potential choice. So if the two equations represent the same line, the slope M and the y-intercept B match from one equation to the other. Okay, so you'll have two equations and the slopes are the same and the y-intercepts are the same. So if it's the same line, you're gonna have the same equation twice or one equation is a multiple of the other. Okay, for instance, let's say the equation is x plus y equals five and you multiply both sides by two. You'll have two x plus two y equals 10. So I just multiplied each term by two. And this first equation and this second equation are the same line. One equation is just a multiple of the other one. Okay, if you have distinct parallel lines, the line equations will have the same slope, m, and will have different y-intercepts, b. So distinct parallel lines will, of course, be two separate lines that run parallel to each other. For perpendicular lines, the slopes are the negative reciprocals of each other. So there's two steps in finding the negative reciprocal. You want to flip it, which means take the reciprocal and then change the plus minus sign. So you just do that to one of the slopes. And if it matches the other slope, then the lines are perpendicular. And finally, intersecting but not perpendicular lines. They have to have different slopes. And the slopes are not negative reciprocals of each other. Okay, so for, for answer choice C, when you take the negative reciprocal, either it's going to match or it doesn't. Okay, as long as the slopes are different and they're not negative reciprocals, they're going to be intersecting but not perpendicular. First problem, what do the following two equations represent? So let's see, we said um, if it is, if the equations represent the same line, then one equation is a multiple of the other. Okay, so I'm going to try multiplying the top equation by two. All right, so I'm just going to Take this whole thing and multiply it by two and distribute that two. I'm basically multiplying both sides of the equal sign by two. So I'm doing the same thing to both sides. Okay, so two times five X is 10 X. Two times positive Y is positive two Y. And two times positive three is going to equal six, all right? And, but here, they have 10x plus two y equals negative six, all right? So we can put this in y equals mx plus b form. We can already see the constant term does not match, okay? So these two equations represent lines that have the same slope but different y-intercept. Okay, so these are just gonna be two parallel lines that run parallel to each other. They'll never intersect. You can, you, like I said, you can do y equals mx plus b if you want, but because the constant term, the one with no variables, does not match, even though the other variables terms do match, it's going to be a different y-intercept. So these are gonna be two parallel lines. And that is answer choice B. Okay, they're not the same line because when I multiplied the top one, I got positive six instead of negative six. So they can't be the same line. What do the following two equations represent? So the top equation here is in the form of y equals mx plus b.
And the bottom equation is in the form of y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, so this one is in point slope form, and the top one is in y-intercept form. So we can easily see the slope here is negative 3, and the slope here is also negative 3. So these are either going to be parallel or the same line. Now for point slope form, we do not have the y-intercept in our equation. All right, so let's see. I think our best bet is to get this into y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so I am going to do minus 5 on both sides. And 5 minus 5 cancels. And I have y equals, okay, and then distributing this negative 3. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. And that is minus 5. Okay, positive 6 minus 5 is just positive 1. So I'll just cross this out here and write plus 1. Okay, so y equals negative 3x plus 1 is the same line as y equals negative 3x plus 1. Same exact line. Answer A. All right, what do the following two equations represent? Well, let's see. This top equation here is already in the form of y equals mx plus b. And I'm seeing all even numbers here on the bottom equation. Um, I think we should just solve for y on this e bottom equation, okay? And then we'll see if it matches the top. So we're solving for uh, y. I'm going to do minus 2x on both sides. And 2x minus 2x cancels. y is times negative 12. The opposite of times negative 12 is divided by negative 12. Okay, and the negative 12s cancel here. We have y equals. Remember when you have numbers or terms added or subtracted in the numerator over a common denominator, each one of those is over the common denominator. All right, so 24 divided by negative, I'll write it out so you're not confused. 24 divided by negative 12 and negative 2x is also divided by negative 12. All right, 24 divided by negative 12 is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 12 is, negative divided by negative is positive. And 2 over 12 is the same as 1 over 6. Okay, and that is still times x. When you have x in the numerator or x out front, that's the same thing. Okay, so now we can see here the slope on this equation is 6. And the slope on this equation is the term that is multiplied by x, that is one-sixth, all right? So remember the two steps to finding the negative reciprocal. You want to flip it and then change the plus minus sign, all right? So we have positive one-sixth. If we flip it, it's going to be 6 over 1, and then change the plus minus sign, it's going to be negative 6 over 1, which is just negative 6. That would be um, the perpendicular slope. Okay, this is positive 1, 6. This is negative 6. This would be the perpendicular slope. But this here is positive 6, not negative 6. So the slopes don't match. And the negative reciprocals don't match either. 
So it's just going to be two intersecting lines that are not perpendicular. All right, once you take the negative reciprocal of the slope and it doesn't match the other slope, they are not perpendicular. So if you scroll down, it is intersecting but not perpendicular.